Okay, let's take a look at the standard camera app. So this is an iPhone, so I'm gonna click the camera app from my lock screen, and there's a couple of different ways you can do this, but this is just one way you can access your camera. Instantly, I go to my photo mode. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn live photos off. Okay, so I have an iPhone 11, so it has two lenses, so I can zoom out by pinching two fingers together, so I get a wide angle lens, or I can zoom in by uh, pinching two fingers again, and that's a three times zoom, and you'll see it's still really sharp because I'm filming in daylight. Let's go back to the standard camera width. Okay, so let me have a look at how I change the style. So I just take one finger and slide it up from the bottom and I get this menu. So I can change the size of my image from 16.9 to square, which is 1.1, or 4.3, which is the standard size. I can increase the exposure. So I've got my manual controls here. If I go across to the next one, you'll notice that, again, I need to slide up from the bottom. Oops, excuse me, I didn't mean to go to portrait. Let's just move that back. Slide up from the bottom. And if I go across, I get the next one in my menu, which is a timer. So I can have a three second or a 10 second time. So that's great if you're taking the picture. If I slide across again, I can add a color profile before I'm shooting. So I've got all of this tone so I can shoot in vivid or black and white. I'm gonna go back to original for now. Okay, say I want to adjust the focus here. So I want more of a blurred background. If I tap the background, you'll notice that comes in focus. If I tap the flower, which is in my foreground, that becomes in focus. So I can start playing with my depth of field. So I've just touched the button to take a picture and I'll just show you this again. So I'll just refocus on my image. So just zoom out a little bit there and I'll just check the focus. So there we go, zoom straight in. Tap the bit I want in focus. So that's my background in focus. Let me just tap my foreground and I'll click my button. And there you go. That's how you use the standard camera app. So those images look pretty good, I think. If you zoom in and you tap it, you almost replicate macro photography, which I'm going to talk about later. Have a go, guys. Try experimenting with your camera app and I'll see you in the next session.